Hello friends, this is the MC Aim and this is my quick review of Grumpy Mule's Seasonal Ground Decaf Coffee and on the front of the pack it says Grumpy Mule established in 2006 organic seasonal decaf Swiss water processed coffee for those with a spring in their step carried from seasonal producers and with taste of smooth chocolate with subtle acidity it's a fair trade coffee um, ground coffee and it's a uh, three out of five for strength on the back of the pack it has a sort of um, introduction to grumpy mule there which i won't read and the bit about the coffee is here which says if you are one of those special sorts who can kick without caffeine this one's for you and our mule's going to make sure you don't get shorted on flavour the crop will change from season to season see below to check that out but you can be sure if they'll get the full patented Swiss water treatment so as to preserve the unique flavour and aroma of each and every bean as if our mule would let it happen any other way and there we go I'm not actually sure I've had a look on the pack where it says see below to check that out I'm not actually it doesn't actually tell you where the coffee comes from so this was £3 in the company shop and the uh, best before date the, um, the label so there's the best before date which is the 27th of November 2019 so around about five, six, six, seven months something like that on the best before date 227 grams and contact information there for Grumpy Mule and um, ways to brew your coffee on the side of the pack there and on the other side don't make him angry you wouldn't like him when he's angry and there we go storage instructions and the grumpy meal website so yeah I'm not actually sure where this coffee um, where this coffee comes from a source from fair trade produ producers but it doesn't actually give you a place where it was grown so that's it for the pack take a quick look at the ground coffee quite coarsely ground but a uh, sort of consistent grind this one and the aroma is earthy with hints of caramel and chocolate with slight floral perfumey hints too um, it's a little dull low I would say so that's it for the ground coffee taste wise it's sweet and chocolatey there's a nutty hint there too with walnut and peanut even hazelnut hints my first cup was a little disappointing and it's obviously a decaf because some decaf coffees you really can't distinguish between caffeinated and decaffeinated but this one is obviously a decaf in taste and effect yeah. but it's one of those coffees that grows on me the more I drink it and although this is nothing special and is a bit weak it's an okay tasting coffee um, when made strong which brings out that acidity mentioned on the pack but it's quite smooth and there's no bitterness it's an okay decaf it's not the best I've reviewed and it's not the worst it's just a middle of the road kind of coffee it's good quality though and a lot better than the other decaf I reviewed from Grumpy Mule a while ago and I purchased both of those coffees as I mentioned not realising they were decafs until I got home so Grumpy Mule could do a slightly better job of labelling their packs because the, de the design of the packs is nearly exactly the same um, from coffee to coffee it's just the um, text on them that tells you the difference in the coffee so this one scores a 3 out of 5 um, not really worth a try I would say but as I say because it's a seasonal decaf it will change um, the taste of it from every now and again so I'd like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee um, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future subscribe to my channel that was my quick review thanks for watching bye for now